I got to deliver the invocation this evening, I was humbled that I might have the opportunity to introduce the true guest of honor, the Lord our God. Ladies and gentlemen, rather put your hands together. I ask that you bow your heads and pray with me. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here tonight in the spirit of progress and in desperate need of your abundant grace. We ask that through you, the salvation of our children and their education will not fall victim to profiteers, and that our teachers will be held on high, and their pensions even higher, out of the reach of greedy hands, that our veterans, our Father, will be sheltered by your healing hands in the form of their own hospital, where they can get the care they so dearly paid for fighting for our freedom. We give thanks to you for their bravery, and we pray that you will give us the same, so that we may fight against those who plan to take our health care benefits from those who need them the most. We ask that you may light a fire within our hearts, a fire to support those men and women who fight the fires that burn our lands and tear down our homes. That you might fill our hearts with the spirit, the spirit of giving, so that the coffers of our food banks will overflow abundantly with the love, your love, turn generosity. We pray that the masses of your faithful followers will come forth to deliver the support for our drainage so that we may weather the storm and not succumb to the flood. We pray that the citizens of our nation will look past a presidential candidate who prays in your name, get plans to rule in another fashion. We pray that you come together as a nation unified with a resounding voice for our President Obama, a man who seeks to empower the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Lord on high, gentle, yet powerful, lowly, yet almighty, shepherd, yet king, in dear gentleness, guide us in your power, Strengthen us in your loneliness. Strip us from the great, strip us of the selfish pride which only destroys us. In your greatness, lift us up so that we might aspire to greater things. Bow us. Bend us at this hour so that these words may become the song of our heart, our mind, and our soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.